What's up, everybody? It is Monday. Oh, no. No, no, it's not Monday. It's Wednesday, July 26th. And today, let's just get right into it. I, uh, last night, I um, I was watching something. It's called Your Bible is Fake. And it's about, it's this guy, this gentleman uh, was talking about how all the versions of the Bible, except for the KJV, is fake. And I agree with him. I agree with him with that. But he said something in that video that concerned me. People probably didn't notice it, but I did. I noticed it, and, and I believe that it is a deception. Now, the, the gentleman probably didn't know that he was deceiving people. He, he, he seems very genuine. He seems like he's genuinely concerned about people reading all these other Bibles. But he said something that I did not agree with. And I believe that it's a deception, not from him, but from the one, the person behind that statement. Here's what he said. So he's going to read a verse from the King James Version, and then he's going to read that same verse from the ESV Version, and he's going to tell us why they are so different, okay? Check this out. I'm going to say it in King James first. On these two commandments hang, hang, keyword hang, all the laws and the prophets, okay? On the New American Version, the word... The, 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 the statement says, on these two commandments, depend uh, the, the whole law and the prophets. Depend. Okay, let me explain it to you. Depends means to be controlled or determined by. Hang, which is what the King James Version says instead of depends, says suspend or suspended. You know what that means? Or killed. That means those two last laws by grace, by Jesus' sacrifice, by grace, by his teachings, the New Testament, what we believe in, killed the rest of the commandments, which means Jesus wiped out the Old Testament. He wiped sin off the face of the earth. This book states that. This book does not. It's leading you back to the preaching of circumcision or the Old Testament, which takes away from grace, which is blasphemy. Okay? The devil's on. Okay. First of all, I agree with him that I do, you know, you should be reading the King James Version Bible. We shouldn't depend on the other versions of the Bible. And then he goes on to explain why the other versions of the Bible is fake and only the King James Version is the true version of the Bible, which I agree with. So he makes this argument about that, and then he goes on to say that Jesus Christ wiped out the entire Old Testament. So you're you're trying to prove that this Bible was the right is the right Bible for everybody, and then tell everybody that more than half of that book we shouldn't it's wiped out. The Old Testament is more than half of the Bible. So he's saying what we only should read is the King James version of the Bible, but only the New Testament, not the Old Testament, because he says that the Old Testament is wiped out. No, not true. We need the Old Testament to understand things from the New Testament. We need the Old Testament to interpret properly the prophecies from Revelation. We'll get into that later on. But I want to I want to specifically say something about what he said about the uh, I think it was Math, Matthew twenty two and verse forty. Before all that, Jesus says that the you know that the two greatest commandments is to love God and to love your neighbor. And then he says, on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. And then he says, the word hang means to hang to suspend. Yes. And then he says it means to kill. To kill the law and the prophets. Not true. That's a deception. And it's not a deception from him. I'm pretty sure he's a, he genuinely cares about what, uh, like how, what, which book uh, people, people read. But the word hang does not mean kill. See, this is what he's saying. That the word hang means kill. So that means the Old Testament is wiped out. Because the Old Testament are the laws and the prophets. In the Bible, when they say law and the prophets... They're talking about the the entire Old Testament. And on this verse, it says that on, the, on these two commandments, hang all the law and the prophets. What he's trying to say is 
that on those two commandments, love God and love your neighbor, it kills or it wipes out the entire Old Testament. That is not true. Not true at all. That's a deception. The word hang in its original Greek version is the word kremanumi or something like I don't I hope I said that correctly, but it means to hang or to suspend. It doesn't say kill. It doesn't say wipe out. It says to hang or to suspend. What Jesus was trying to say that all the laws and the prophets, the, the entire Old Testament is hanging upon the two, the two greatest commandments, which is love God and love your neighbor. It even says, in, it even says that in Deuteronomy, love God and love your neighbor. And upon those two commandments hang all the law and all the prophets. The entire Old Testament hangs on those two commandments, love God and love your neighbor. That means the Old Testament was based upon those two commandments. If you read the entire Old Testament, it will lead you to love God and love your neighbor. That's what it means that the, the Old Testament hangs upon those two commandments. He even goes on to say that those two commandments wipes out or kills all the other commandments. That's not true. Let me ask you guys a question. How do you love God? You love God by keeping the first four commandments. And how do you love your neighbors? You love your neighbors by keeping the last six commandments. If you guys noticed, there are, there are two tables of commandments. One table it describes our relationship when we love God. Describes how we love God. Don't have any other gods. Don't bow down to idols. Don't use God's name in vain. Keep the Sabbath. Keep it holy. When we keep those first four commandments, it shows our love for God. How do you love your neighbors? The last six commandments. Honor your parents. Don't lie. Don't steal. Don't kill. Don't commit adultery and don't covet. The last six commandments, if we keep those, that's how we show our love for our neighbors. Do you guys get what I'm saying? And that's why the whole commandment, those commandments rest upon or hang upon the two great commandments, which is love God and love your neighbors. Because you can't love God if you don't do the first four commandments and you can't love your neighbors if you don't do, if you don't keep the last six commandments. Do you guys see the deception there? Those two great commandments, love God and love your neighbor, are just a summary of the Ten Commandments. Make sure you guys read your Bibles and don't just take it from guys like this. I mean, this guy seems like he's very genuine and, 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 and very sincere, but you could also be sincerely in error. You guys get what I'm saying? I do agree that the KJV is the only Bible that we should be reading. But the rest of that, error. Error. I'm sorry to say, but it's error. The next point I'm trying to make is that... Actually, we're going to get into that later on because I got to go. So you guys probably won't believe what just happened right now well actually you guys probably will believe what happened right now because i don't really lie about these things but anyway i'm trying to sell my 70 to 200 millimeter lens for canon canon cameras on ebay and it's a pretty expensive lens i got a buyer right i got a buyer he contacted me he said hey look i finished my payment i gave you my payment this and that and uh just just proving that he made a transaction I get an email from eBay or what looks like eBay saying that the transaction was complete and then another email saying that they need the shipping uh, tracking info, the tracking number and all that stuff. And so I was like, this is kind of this is kind of fishy. I mean, it looks like it's from eBay. The real eBay email, if you look at the actual email, it'll say service or whatever at eBay.com. The other ones says payment information 001 at post.com. So right then and there, I already, I figured out what, what is authentic and what was not authentic. The authentic emails from eBay is going to say ebay.com on the email list. You know where it says sent from customer help at ebay.com. That's how you know that the email was authentically from eBay. It was authentic. The other emails that look like it was from eBay, it, it, they even had the the logo and the design of the email is like HTML code or whatever. It looked like it was from eBay, but it wasn't from eBay. It was from post.com. It said email service or, or payment online service or whatever at post.com. Why am I telling you guys this? I mean, it really did happen just now, but I'm telling you guys this as an allegory or as a figure, figurative story as to how you should approach the Bible. You should always proofread everything. 
And when someone is telling you a scripture or, or a Bible study or whatever, you should always go into that study and proofread everything. Proofread the Bible. If, if someone tells you, gives you the definition of the Hebrew or Greek of this word or whatever, you should always do it yourself. Proofread it. The guy that I was showing you guys this morning about the, the whole KJV thing and the word hang or suspended or the word hang or depends or whatever, that guy was saying that the whole book of the, the, the whole Bible was written in Greek. It was not. It was written in Hebrew and Greek and some Aramaic. You guys can research this. You guys can go and proofread everything. And this is why I always tell people to read the KJV alongside Strong's Concordance because Strong's Concordance will give you the original Hebrew and Greek words used in the Bible. The Hebrew words are for the Old Testament because the Old Testament was written in Hebrew. And the Greek words are for the New Testament because the New Testament was written in Greek. So, always proofread everything. Now, let's talk about something else because that guy said Jesus Christ wiped out the entire Old Testament with that one uh, with that one verse. The one verse, I think it's in Matthew 20 and verse 44 where Jesus says, "Upon this two upon these two great commandments hang all the law and the prophets." And then he said, "See, the word hang means to kill. No, it does not. Proofread it. Greek Go to your Strong's Concordance and check it out because it does not mean to kill. It means to hang, to suspend, but that doesn't mean to kill. If you read the rest of the Bible, Jesus quotes from the Old Testament. Jesus quotes from the Old Testament. And if you think, if he makes the argument that, oh, well, Jesus quotes from the Old Testament before he died, before his ascension. Well, after his ascension, Guess who quotes from the Old Testament? The apostles who wrote the New Testament. How can that guy say that the Old Testament is wiped out after the ascension of Christ or after the, the death of Christ when after the ascension of Christ, the apostles wrote and quoted from the Old Testament? Remember, back in the day, there was no New Testament. They quoted from the, from the Old Testament. So how can, how can we say that the Old Testament is wiped out? It's not. That is a deception from the devil himself because he does not want you to read the Old Testament in order for you to figure out what's going on in the book of Revelation. In the book of Revelation, if you guys study the book of Revelation, most of the themes of the book of Revelation comes from the Old Testament and you will not be able to interpret the, the book of Revelation if you don't read the Old Testament. Do you guys get what I'm saying? A lot of the symbols in Revelation, in the book of Revelation, you get it from the Old Testament. And the Old Testament will give you the definition of all those symbols in the book of Revelation. So for someone to say, oh, you don't have to read the Old Testament anymore, that is a lie from the devil himself. Because he does not want you to find out who the beast is, what the mark of the beast is, who the, the second beast is. He doesn't want you to find out the things that you can find out in the book of Revelation. Because he knows that if we find out the interpretation of all those symbols in the book of Revelation, we will not be deceived. Remember in Psalms 119 verse 110, it says that the devil or the wicked will set a trap for you. He will set a snare for you. And the psalmist said, in order for you not to be trapped in that trap or the snare, is you got to keep your focus on the precepts of God. That is the whole entire Bible. Not just the New Testament, the Old Testament as well. So make sure you guys have a sharp mind, focus on the precepts of God. Don't let these other people tell you that the Old Testament is wiped out because it's not. We'll talk about this some more later. Right now, I got to get back to work. Yo, by the way, guys, um, a friend of mine, me and a friend of mine, were thinking about starting a, a Christian clothing line. Um, starting out with shirts first. I don't know. I'm, I'm still kind of iffy about it. I don't know how successful it's going to be. We're going we're gonna to pray about it and see. But if this is something that you guys would like to support, let me know comment down below if we're gonna do shirts we're gonna we're gonna make a design where it's gonna catch people's attention and they're gonna want to search it up in the Bible to see what the Bible actually says about that statement on the shirt I want to know what you guys think about that let me know comment down below and uh, 
I'm gonna go eat right now. Guess where I'm at? <laughs> I'm at Target. Again, I ended up here. Okay, anyway. So I just wanted to make another response to this whole the Old Testament is no, is no longer valid or it's wiped out or whatever. Remember, I told you guys that you need the Old Testament in order for you to properly interpret um, the symbols of the book in the book of Revelation. Here's what I mean by that. Okay, the book of Revelation talks about seven trumpets. How are you going to interpret these seven trumpets? What are, what are these seven trumpets? Well, the only way that you can interpret those seven trumpets are the examples that you find in the Old Testament. The book of Revelation, Revelation 17, also talks about a harlot. Well, guess what? You need to read Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and Isaiah in order for you to find out what a harlot is symbolically. Because God tells you what a harlot is symbolically in those Old Testament books. Revelation 13 talks about two beasts. What is a beast in Bible prophecy? Well, you're going to you're going to have to go to Daniel 7 in order to find out what a beast is symbolically. Revelation talks about seven last plagues. Where are you going to have to go in the Old Testament in, in the book of Exodus to figure out to have an idea of what those seven plagues are and get a little bit more insight on on, on the plagues, on the last, seven last plagues in the end at the end times. You get what I'm saying? And there's so many symbols in the book of Revelation that you can only find corresponding symbols or parallel stories in the Old Testament. So how are you going to interpret the symbols of Revelation uh, of the book of Revelation if you don't go to the Old Testament to figure out what these symbols are? You, you understand what I'm saying? So the the whole the whole idea that the Old Testament is wiped out, that whole idea comes from none other than the devil himself. And I'm and I'm not saying that the guy that said that um, knew what he was talking. He probably he was very sincere. He seems like he was a very sincere guy, but he didn't know what he was talking about, man. I'm telling you guys this right now because I I was deceived a long time ago when I used to be a Catholic. You guys got to figure out. You guys got to really learn and study the Word of God in order to, in order for you to to pin to to pick up on these things. Remember when Peter in the New Testament when he was preaching, uh, him and his friend was preaching in uh, Berea. Remember what those people did. They checked the Bible to see what if, if what they were saying was right. So that's what we need to do. We need to check, constantly check the Bible and constantly constantly check up on our pastors and preachers to see if they're saying something right or if they're saying something wrong because we could be deceived. And I'm not saying that, that they're doing it intentionally. They might be deceived too. Your pastors and your preachers and people like that guy from the video earlier this morning so we got to really really stay focused and and know what the bible says so i just got home a lot of things happened today and uh we were talking about the guy who was comparing the esv or the american standard version of the bible and the kjv um I don't know what else to say. I think I've explained everything that I needed to explain. I think I said everything I needed to say. So thank you guys for watching. Um, again, if you guys like the idea of uh, doing the t-shirts and stuff, let me know. Comment down below. And also, if you guys have any more questions, comment down below. Let me know what your questions are. I'll try, I'll try, to, I'll try, I'll try my best to answer them for you. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys were blessed by this study or this video, Please like and share. Share with your friends, your family, your relatives, your co-workers. Anybody whom you know would be blessed by this Bible study or video, vlog video. And if you guys are new to this channel and want to watch more Christian content, future Christian content and future Bible study videos, please subscribe and make sure you guys hit the bell. And if you guys want to support this channel and if you guys want to keep it afloat, please pray for this online video ministry and donate at schoolforprofits.tv. Thank you guys again. Praise God always, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be different because I'm not really going to work. I'm doing a music video with a couple of guys that I know, just doing them a favor, you know what I mean? So, and I'll take you there. Peace out.